what's good guys it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel in today's video I will continue to answer some of your questions which you have been leaving on my lock content videos so let's get into it so the first question I have here is how long has your son been growing his hair so when I am um, did that video when I uploaded that video to my channel it was uploaded in the beginning of February so I did his hair in the January and um, he was growing his hair out since October um, so he had about three months of hair growth so the next question here is how long was your son's hair when you started his locks now I did actually answer that question in the video so I would definitely go ahead and have you check it out once again so you could get the answer to that question but the answer is certainly in that video so the next question we have here is I am starting my friends locks and they have 3b hair I have zero experience and I was thinking um, braid or two strand twist would be best but I would like to know your opinion also products and tips you have I guess also any products and tips you have okay so um, 3b here um, if we're going off of what we um, know what 3b here looks like according to these charts then I would assume that they have a looser like a looser curl pattern um, and you're asking my opinion on whether two strand twists or braids would be best in my personal opinion out of these two that you've given me um, I would definitely say braid locks because when your hair is more looser it it unravels much quicker so if you want something a little bit more tight and compact then I would certainly say the braids because the braids there's three strands that you know are intertwined otherwise other unlike sorry the two strand twist where it's just two you know what I mean and also um, braids are much more tighter than um, two strand twists but I highly recommend that you check out the video that I'm about to link right here on the best type of method oh sorry best type <laughs> but the best method to use when you have um, looser textured hair so definitely go on over to this video that I've linked right here and check it out so in regards to the second part of the question where um, you know it says I would like to know your opinion and also products and tips you have when it comes to products it's kind of difficult to um, tell people or advise people what products to use because your scalp and hair condition plays a major part Part. now say for example you have dry flaky scalp or you have oily scalp or you have scalp conditions such as like eczema or psoriasis etc you know I don't know what's happening with your scalp or you know um, what's happening with your actual hair strand so if you have high porosity or low porosity hair strand you know all of that plays a major role so it's really really important in understanding your own hair and scalp before you start a lock journey because all of these things factor in so um, but to give you a general a general um, you know advice in regards to um, products I would definitely say stay away from any products that have any harmful um, ingredients in there especially the Neutrogena anti residue shampoo and the reason why I always stress this particular product in my lock content videos is because I notice a lot of people in the lock community swear by this um, shampoo and this shampoo is packed with a lot of harmful ingredients in there and I would not want to advise any of my um, viewers to use that shampoo now if you want to know about the ingredients that are used in there definitely go ahead and check this video out right here to find out you know more information in regards to what is used in that product so I highly um, do not recommend anyone using the Neutrogena anti-residue shampoo um, and in regards to tips um, I will definitely go ahead and link another video right here um, if I've still got space up there <laughs> but if not definitely check the description bar below as well because I will be listing a lot of other useful and helpful videos that I have done to help you along your hair and lock journey <laughs> 
So the next question is, can I still unlock the dreads with this method or is it permanent? Now, I am so happy that someone asked that question because listen, there was a point in time where I also thought locks was a permanent style, but no, it is not. And even if you used um, the two strand twist method or the braid lock method or sister locks or instant locks, whatever method you started your lock journey with, you can actually undo your locks. And I have a video where I showed you exactly how you can unlock your locks without damaging your hair, without cutting your hair, and you can maintain all that beautiful length that you acquired along your lock journey. So if you wanna know how you can do that, definitely check the cards above or the description bar below. Okay, so the next question here is, does interlocking help with hair? Okay, wait. Does interlocking help the hair lock faster or reduce chances, get my words out, or reduce chances of unraveling? Yes, um, now let me answer this question here. Now, interlocking don't necessarily help your hair to lock faster. No, it, it definitely don't do that but it definitely certainly 100 percent helps with um minimizing the um amount of unraveling you do have now when i started um jaden's lock journey i did actually mention that in the video um did i mention that in the video let me think i am not sure if i mentioned it in the video but i'm almost sure i have mentioned this somewhere before um but yes interlocking helps to um, minimize or prevent um i won't say prevent but it helps to minimize um unraveling now when i started mine and Jaden's locks i interlocked the roots and the reason why i did that is say for example you know Jaden had um locks that unraveled and also i also had locks which unraveled when i started my lock journey but because of the um the roots being interlocked it didn't um, unravel everything all the way to the ends, like, you know, to my scalp. So I was still able to go back in and just find the hair, twist it back in, and everything is still there. So it's still like in its lock, which was formed. Well, I mean, in the section, if you understand what I'm saying, you know, so it definitely don't um, help the hair to lock faster. It just keeps the hair together, you know, and the locking process just takes its time as it does so the next question we have here is is it easier to comb out locks without cutting them is it easier to comb out locks without cutting them no <laughs> it's definitely not easier combing it out cutting your locks is instant and your locks are gone combing it out who it does take some time because I remember when I was combing out my locks as well I am not going to lie there were moments where I was just like I I am done my fingers were hurting and even when I was unraveling my son's locks Jaden's locks I had to take breaks because my fingers started to hurt so um, no it's not easier to comb them out but when you comb your locks out you retain all that length and that's the plus um but when it comes to combing it out i would definitely say take your time because your locks not your locks sorry your fingers will hurt your fingers will certainly hurt so um yeah they will hurt <laughs> okay so the next question we have here is when reattaching my locks is it okay if i don't section them Okay, so if you are reattaching your locks, um, if you don't section them, well, okay, when I was showing you guys how I was reattaching my locks, um, I, you know, had cut the locks which were at the front of my head and I was sectioning out um, my portions because I already have, I, at that time, I had started my locks um, cultivated. So I had my sections and everything like that so i did that now if you are on a freeform journey for example then no you don't need to section it out because with freeform you just allow your hair to do whatever so if you wanted to attach locks to start a freeform journey then no you do not have to um, section it but if you have cultivated locks or you want your locks to be much neater 
then I would certainly suggest parting it out, section it out so everything will be neat and cohesive. Yay. Okay, so the next question we have here is, how long does it take for you to reattach your locks? Now, when I was reattaching my locks, oh, let me go back in my memory bank. Hmm. I think it took me, oh, it took me about 10 to 15 minutes, um, maybe 20. Let me just go up to 20, but I don't think it took 20 minutes. Okay, let me not say 20. I'll say between 10 and 15 minutes. Um, and it can be, you can take longer if you want as well, if you wanna make sure that everything is nice and neat and tight in there. Because I did experience, um, you know, some of my locks um, falling out when I would wash my hair. Like, you know, when I, it's just normal and I'm not washing it, it's fine. But some of them did come undone. So, um, and I'm not sure why that is but more time if you spend more time <laughs> with um you know crocheting it and making sure that everything is nice and tight then you wouldn't have that experience so the next question is can you do a video on how to crochet locks together now obviously these questions are from pulled from all of my um lock content videos so this one i'm assuming this person has not seen um, my video on how i reattached my locks but i did actually use the crocheting method so i will certainly have that video either linked above or in the description bar below for anybody else out there who wants to know or see how I actually crocheted my locks together and the final question I will be answering today is I started my dreadlocks by plaiting so that's you know same as the braid lock method um, can that work and what should I do after yes your um, yes if you started your lock journey using braids or two strand twists or the instant locks or interlocking that definitely can work you can even start your lock journey with just leaving your hair alone which will be the free form you know um, journey um however what you want to do after you have started your lock journey is maintain a healthy hair routine and i have done a video on what you should do after you started your lock journey so i will go ahead and link that in the description bar below for you to definitely go and check out so that you can maintain a healthy beautiful lock journey okay so that's it for today i hope you guys found today's video very helpful and if you did then please go ahead and give this video a big massive thumbs up so that youtube know that you guys found this video valuable and that youtube can promote this video for others so it could benefit them so if you enjoyed today's video definitely show me some love and until next time i will be right back here with more questions being answered regarding your lock questions <laughs> so until next time guys bye